In this California, they have no women walking? Oh, no, no, it's impossible. There we have no Harris. In this country, all we speak with English, my husband. Ah, see, si, see, si, I forget. A mirror, mirror. <laughs> Woman. Look at that. Like tales of horses, Joaquin. Chinos. The land of California is the land of wonders. I don't like it. I'm frightened. Hey, you. Come on, you Max. Get out, get out. Let's leave. Tell me, Captain, you being a territorial marshal. Deputy marshal. Well, what are you doing now? How about them? Thought we fought a war to get rid of them mechs. That wasn't the reason, Mr. Briggs. Well, whatever the reason, they're pouring in here like ants around a leak in a molasses barrel. Where do you come from, Mr. Briggs? Boston. Why? Seems to me you got a whiff of that molasses yourself and travel a lot farther. But I'm an American, and this is U.S. territory. They're foreigners. Some of them, maybe, since we took their territory away from them. But a lot of them are native Californians. And that, Mr. Briggs, sort of makes you a foreigner. Doesn't it? What do I owe you for the shells? But so much they cost. See, si, but we need tools. And also beans and corn to make tortillas and wheat. We have so little money. But what do we care what we spend? Are we soon not to dip our fingers into the gold of California? For babies? De niños? Yes. For babies? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Americans are very practical, no? <laughs> not that practical. It's for sluicing gold from gravel. Oh. My husband, he knows this, senor. I am the one who is ignorant about these things. See, si, what do women know of mining? Sure. Uh, but if this senor would please explain to her what this thing does. Well, if you already know. I, I do not know any more than she does. <laughs> You're new to California? See, si. see, si, our home is in Sonora, in Mexico. In Mexico, my husband was a vaquero, a breaker of wild horses, you know. He is very good. My name is Joaquin, Joaquin Morietta. And this pretty one is my wife, Rosita. I'm Harry Love. Well, if it's gold you're after, this is a mighty handy contraption. Contraption? Yes. Contraption. It's used for placer mining. Ah. Well, that's sort of a general term applied to deposits formed by erosion and concentration, usually in stream beds and along river banks. Now, when you locate a pocket of auriferous gravel... Auriferous gravel? A river's gravel, see. Ah, see, a river's, see, a river's gravel. gravel. <laughs> 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 what are you 
doing to this man? What has he done? The sneaking mech stole my mule, that's what he done. It is not true, senor, I swear it. The mule is mine, he sold it to me. It is the truth, senor. These men are the ones. Joaquin gave them the medallion. You bought that mule, Joaquin? With the medallion of my family. Only two hours ago, we traded. Are you going to believe me or the greaser? I don't like that term, mister, and I don't believe he's lying. I'm taking that mule, mech lover, and don't try to stop me. If you're still in San Andreas by sundown, I'll throw you in jail until you rot. We'll meet someday again, Mex. Pray we do not. Don't think too badly of us, Mrs. Murrieta. Gold brings all kinds. And we're having a little trouble getting organized. God reward you for your goodness. We owe you much, Senor Love. I will not forget. I'm glad we found at least one friend in California. Oh, you'll find lots more. And lots of gold, I hope. Uh, both are treasures, senor. Adios, amigo. Adios, Morietas. Adios. It is done. It is our share of California. It's not much. Yes, I know. But who knows what treasure sleeps beneath our feet? Gold to buy back the lands of the Murrietas, a rancho in Sonora, great herds of magnificent horses. Gold for the crown of my beautiful Rosita. How lovely you are. So beautiful. And if there's no gold, my husband? I'm still the richest man in the world. I have Rosita. All right. <laughs> Wait. Watch. Now we shall see if that fine Yankee contraption is as wise as Captain Love says of it, eh?
es rosita como flor de la mañana tus ojos son dos gotitas nacidas de madrugada tus labios son los destellos de un sol que va despertando y tus ojos son tan bellos como un río que va cantando Rosita te quiero tanto que no encuentro las palabras para decirte las cosas que se dicen con el alma. Rosita, Rosita linda, nunca te olvides de mí. Se refleja el mundo desde aquel día que te vi, Rosita, Rosita mía. The man you married is a fool, Rosita. You're the loveliest flower in all Sonora. Why did I bring you to these mountains? To work as a slave, to sleep on the ground, pretending to you that soon the gold may be found, when I no longer believe it to exist. You must not be discouraged, Joaquin. No. But in all of these days, not one single grain of gold in the cradle. Well then, maybe we can fill it with something more precious. It is not too early to tell you, my dear husband, that God has touched us. I have felt the miracle. Rosita. Rosita Mia. Rosita. I but not here, not in these mountains, not in California where there's no love for Mexicans, but in Sonora, in a rancho as I promised. If I have to tear apart all of these mountains and wash every foot of gravel, for this I shall find the gold. Much gold. 
And now all we have to do is dig and wash, and it is ours. God has smiled on us. <laughs> a smile, a big smile. A smile that fills the whole sky. It is his love for Rosita and her love for this foolish fellow is... Of course, you're always right. We, we must give thanks. Oh, dear God, forgive me. All my life I will pray, but today I'm too... I'm too excited. Rosita, tell me you love me. Tell me you sing and dance with me. Tell me you're filled with this happiness. It's bursting inside you. My heart is happy with yours, and I pain with the joy. <laughs> Heard you yelling, amigo. Sounded mighty excited. Like a man who'd struck color. Yes, yes, there is much gold. For weeks we dig here and there is no gold. All of a sudden the ground sings with him. That rich, eh? Yes. You're a lucky man. You, uh, recorded this claim? Uh, recorded. Oh, oh, yes. No, no, tomorrow in the morning. And then we bring back some wine from Murphy's. And you and your friends, your camp near here, huh? Will you come and sing and we will dance and Rosita, she will cook and we will have one big fiesta. You ain't going to Murphy's, Mex. You ain't got nothing to file. But my claim, the gold. This mine is ours, Greaser. But these sticks are mine for weeks we have dug here. You're on the wrong side of the frontier, Mex. I get mad when I see Mexicans on the wrong side of the frontier. How do you feel about it, Chief? I don't like Mexicans on either side. Let's teach them a lesson. <laughs> Rosita! If you touch her, I'll kill you! Lucky! Rosita! You! Lucky!
Rosita. Live, my love. Live. Without you, there is no life. Rosita. Rosita. Rosita! <laughs> time, ma'am. It's been a lot longer since we saw a lady around here like you, ma'am. That's what you get for leaving them. <laughs> Tell me, how have you boys been eating around this camp? Turkey meat, canned sardines, sow belly, and more lousy food like that. Would you be thinking, ma'am, of asking us to dinner? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, men, of opening a sort of a restaurant. If that meets with the approval of you, gentlemen. Hey, look what they got. Three fingers jack. Ah, you know me, a 
amigos. <laughs> you know that I am Jack Three Fingers. You bet we know you, you rotten murderer. We'll show the Max, you killer. Who calls Jack Three Fingers a murderer? What throats have I slit except those of the animals that I find digging in our mountains? These men are my prisoners. I'm taking to Sacramento for a fair trial. Before somebody gets hurt. Move! Let's go! boys, that's all for today. Me and the hens are all tuckered out. We're down to our last egg. Fried or scrambled. I'll give you $10 for it, Katie. $10 for one egg? I'll give you 20 30 100 Sold to the gentleman for... It is not for me, senorita, but for a friend who approaches I would like to invite for breakfast. How would you like your egg, Captain Love? My what? Your egg. Murieta? Murieta, San Andreas. It is you. Have I changed so much in one year? <laughs> All dude it up. What did you strike? Diamonds? Your breakfast, amigo. The last one left. Oh, I get the itch every now and then to go up in the hills and dig. But with everyone doing it, somebody has to carry this thing. Besides, I don't like what gold does to people. Oh, I don't mean you, Joaquin. Say, tell me, how's that pretty young wife of yours? Is she here too? Rosita is not here. She have the claim? No longer have I a claim, nor do I have a wife. Rosita is dead. I'm sorry. California is a beautiful country, Captain Love. My people have been settled here for over 200 years and have had much love for this land. And then the Gringo came. He took away the land by force, destroyed the great ranchos, trampled the crop, polluted the river, and California is ravished. And he tore the gold from the breast of her mountains and she bleeds and dies. It was on the banks of the Stanislaus, Captain Love. A year ago, there were three men. For a year, I have searched. And now I wait. Sooner or later, they will come. And when they come? I will kill them. A man can't live with murder in his heart, Joaquin. It is the one thing in my heart that keeps me alive, senor. Trust the law, Joaquin. Don't try to take it into your own hands. Those who do only bring disaster on themselves. You are the one friend I have in this country, Captain Love. It pains me to think that someday you will hate the name of Morietta. Oh, that isn't. This order will be five dollars. I don't know how to cook a hundred dollar egg. Yours is on the house. Well, Senorita Kate, there was but one egg. Uh, got a hen back there that must have taken a liking to you. Say now, I'd feel proud if a hen felt that way about me. <laughs> I'll give it. Always seek the queen with the heart. For well, the black queens are evil. They will rob you while they divert your attention with their charms. But the queen with the heart is true and faithful, and he who chooses her, she will reward richly. <laughs> the senor believes he can follow the queen with the heart, huh? All right, play. Watch her closely, amigo. 
For the queen is a woman, and a woman cannot be trusted. She flirts. She runs. She eludes. She hides. But the senor has the courage of a lion and the eyes of an eagle. And he will find her, no? That one. <laughs> that was an unfortunate choice, senor. The witch has entrapped you. Not so quick, Max. You imply that Murrieta cheats? Your kind, I know. Turn over the card, gringo. Kill me if it is not the queen with the heart. Otherwise, I will kill you. Question, amigo? Oh, just curious. As you are curious of all my skin, no? Who questions now, Joaquin? <laughs> I'm sorry. Come, let us have a drink. Those three men of which I told you. Suppose they came and suppose I did as you advise. I turned them over to the law. What then would happen? Why, they'd be tried for murder. By a local judge and a local jury, no? Yes. And in that way, I would get justice. Why not? I'm the only witness. There are three against one. They would be convicted, wouldn't they, Captain? Tell me the truth. Well? There's only more evidence. The only evidence is in my eyes. They would be convicted and there would be justice. I'm afraid not. Then I have no choice. Hmm? Come. Let us have that drink. Murder is a Rosita. Say your prayers in hell. Killed with Americanos? Yes. Oh, Americanos. They provoked you. In self defense. Or they drew their pistols. It was not a duel. It was an execution. You murdered them? They will call it that. In the saloon? In front of a big crowd? Ha! <laughs> Viva this Murrieta! It will be an honor to hang with you, senor. Why do you speak of these things right now? Do not be like a woman, you cockroach. Is it not better to die by the gringo's rope than by his boot? A brave man never has fear of dying bravely. Es 
especially when he does not have to face it. These fools will not hang us, amigo. I have no doubt that by this time my brave men will have learned of my capture. Soon they will swoop down on us like eagles to tear us away from these stupid gringos. Eh, Claudio? Ah, if by now they're not too sloppy with wine to know that we are missing. This band of yours, how many men? Ten, twenty, or thirty. Eh, who counts them? A fine herd of brave bulls, the best flower of California. Miserable peasants. Organization. Thirty men, well-mounted, well-armed. And not a brain among a lot of them. A noose around your neck would silence your tongue, you cockroach. Have confidence, Morieta. In an hour, we will be showing our heels to these gringos. Or kick them. That mob out there is getting ugly. Yeah. You're taking a big chance bringing that coffee over here. The state's paying for it. Where's Love? Can't you see what's coming? He's up the street trying to talk them out of it. I don't know why he bothers. There's one for you, Ed. Thanks. Tell you one thing. If they bust in here, I'm not going to put up much of an argument. Don't blame you. Gracias, senorita. Save your thanks. I'm being paid for it. <laughs> Gracias, senorita. You sure had me fooled, fancy clothes. I, too, am disillusioned, senorita. You approve of lynchings? Generally, no. In your case, however, I'm pretty neutral. Anyone who slaughters three men in cold blood isn't entitled to much sympathy. Take your coffee while you still have time to drink it. When you learn why. I know why. Take your coffee. Better be getting back to my tent. Expect the boys to be piling in for refreshments after. Expect they will. Thanks for the coffee, Kate. I'll pick up the cups later. Never will I understand the cruelty of women. She will enjoy watching you hang, Morieta. It is beyond a man's comprehension. Drink, amigo. The fiesta is in your honor. <laughs> this wine has no more character than these scarecrows you call bandits. <laughs> you have a tongue as sharp as the eagle's claw, eh, amigo? <laughs> Muchachos, let us drink to this brave Murieta, who last night killed three gringos. <laughs> Hey, amigos, we find murders in cold blood. No fear, no pity. He shot them like dogs. And then by his cleverness, he concealed a gun in jail and plucked our necks from the gringo's noose. <laughs> Your filthy, bony neck, cockroach. Mine would have slipped through their nooses anyway. It is a greasy neck, senor. What? Hmm. <laughs> Are you aware how brave this Murrieta is? 
Anybody else here who dares to offend Jack Three Fingers? <laughs> I call you my brother, Murrieta. <laughs> you join with us and be with the most feared and admired bandit in all California. I invite you. Sorry. You refuse? Yes, I refuse. I did not please Salinas to find my death among these drunken thieves and murderers. Where do you go? You feel secure in this canyon? There's no problem. There is but one way to get in. And but one way to get out. Does the town of Salinas sleep well tonight knowing that Three Fingers and Murrieta are in these hills? The horses have wings that they leave no trails? Is Captain Love as big a fool as this ox you follow? You think the gringo will come here? <laughs> Before this day ends, remain and tomorrow I shall return and bury those of you they haven't taken back to hang. Or ride with Murrieta now and learn to be bandits and men. I am going with Murrieta. Hey, wait! Where do you go? Who are you going to follow, fools? Only a crooked dealer of the cards! All stay! Wait! Wait! I give the orders! Me, Jack Three Fingers! Don't go! You're all traitors! I command it! Wait! Come back! You do not kill. He is my prisoner, fat one. Mr. 
day you were men. This day you were soldiers. Fighting the men who have taken your country, driven you from your farms, robbed you of your claims and your birthrights. Let the others of our blood whom the gringo has driven into these hills know of this. Let them come to us for guns and horses, gringo's guns and horses. With these, we will get more guns and horses. It will come from the cities and camps, and we will grow, and very soon we will have an army. And with a thousand horses and a thousand men to ride them, we will drive the gringos from California. A dream? Yes, it is a dream. If you ride behind a fat wineskin such as this, but it is no dream if you ride with Murrieta. Ride with Murrieta and you ride for Mexico! Viva Mexico! Viva Murrieta! Viva Mexico! Now who gives the orders? <laughs> I would not harm you, Murrieta. <laughs> How could I possibly offend a man who has saved my life? You would strangle the mother who gave you life. Bring a good horse. I regret the gulf that has opened between us. No turning back now, is there, Morietta? You've tasted blood. My own blood first, Captain. You realize what you've become? Yes. What the Gringos have forced me to become. Cut him loose! Quickly, do as you're told. I pay my debts, Captain. You are free to go. But our friendship ends in exactly 20 minutes. Until then, there is no pursuit. It is a mistake. A big mistake. Sooner or later, I'm going to kill you. Adios, Captain.
not move yet, Dave. Well, are we going after them? It's no use. If it's a trail, it's a trap. If there's no trail, where do we look? How much longer is it going to last? As long as it takes to get him across the sights of my gun. where we must part, amigos. Break up into small bands and separate. Meet with the others in the Arroyo Cantova. I will join you there in three days. What mystery is this, Joaquin? Why and where are you riding by yourself? I go where I go for my own reasons, Garcia. It is not for you to question. A man can only do this for three reasons. And because we have gold and wine, <laughs> it is because of a woman. <laughs> Yes. It's a woman. Now we must go. Light a great fire, Joaquin! And return with the ashes! <laughs> you seem to know much about women, eh, Garcia? Do I know of women? Who do you think left my fingers the way that they are now? <laughs>
well in Calabria. What do you mean well? It took me three horses to carry this gold. Gonzalez, tomorrow you start from Mexico with the stolen horses. Horses and gold for the army that someday will take back California. Valenzuela! Hey, amigo! <laughs> you came at last. You are all right? Word came to us that you'd taken a bullet. A grace, Joaquin. But we've taken other things more important. The horses from Stockton are magnificent. Many? Thirty-two. There were some objections, of course. We had to kill a few gringos. <laughs> <laughs> you left a few alive to report. Enough. The North Sievers from the news of the new raids of Murrieta. Ah, good. Good. The more Murrietas, the more fear and confusion. Joaquin will be seen everywhere. From Los Angeles to San Francisco the same night. They'll think it's the devil himself who transports Murrieta. <laughs> Greetings, amigos! <laughs> Is there no welcome home for Jack Three Fingers, huh? <laughs> ah, your mouths hang open at the wonder of what we bring, huh? Is it so long that you have seen such birds, you think maybe they are vultures waiting only to tear your, your carrion flesh? <laughs> Do not be afraid they won't hurt you. They are chickens, amigos! <laughs> chickens! Hens! Producers of eggs! <laughs> Those chickens, where did you get them? Why, in Salinas. From the girl at Salinas? Who oh, else but she has those chickens in California. <laughs> you harmed this girl? Why, she didn't even know it was done at night. You ordered a raid at Murphy's, not at Salinas. But we heard of a wagon with much gold leaving Salinas for the bank in San Francisco. We got that at the same time. You risk the safety of this whole band doing it, you fat fool? When will you learn that the orders of Murrieta are not to be disobeyed? One temptation I may resist. Two is impossible. I will teach you obedience, then. The chickens go back and you will take them. No. You defy Murrieta? For too long has Jack Three Fingers crawled before the great Murrieta. I have very much appetite for these birds. <laughs> Tonight I will roast the chickens and have a fiesta. And tomorrow, I will stuff myself with eggs. <laughs> and if Murrieta tells Jack no, I will tell Murrieta he should go to the devil. We will see how defiant you are, amigo. At the end of a rope. Tie up this treacherous buffalo and put a guard on him. He's your friend. Hang him. If it must be done, it is better that a friend does it, no? You will not be angry with me, eh? Wait. It is a bad thing when a man cannot trust his friends. Yes, it is a bad thing. Silence, I'm not talking to you. Hot words, of course, can be spoken without thought. An apology would erase them. Even a breach of discipline might be forgiven if some assurance were made that it would not happen again. And if this disobedient dog had the common decency and good sense to utter some small word of apology to those whom he's offended. But since this fat, defiant, stupid animal has not even this small virtue, hang him! Look, you must not die unless you've said your prayers. Get it over with, cockroach. Three Fingers says nothing. But, but you must not die. Uh, 
Are you going to let him die without praying? You are about to die, Garcia. Cease this foolishness and say your prayers. No. You are facing your judgment and you say no? Do you not believe in God also, you pig? Well, see, si, of course I do, but I do not think it is very convenient to call his attention to me at this very moment. Oh, you think to creep past him, huh? You think he is not aware of the sinfulness of such as you, who for two fried eggs placed in danger his immortal soul? Now begin, pray. No. I said pray! No! Jeffrey, if such a thing as this, this pig will not pray. Well, how can I hang a man who will not pray? All right, then. You do not hang. You're not good enough to hang. But you do not get your eggs. And those chickens are going back. But it is not possible to go back with the little birds. They make too much noise. Then silence them. How? left? Uh, well, 40 or maybe 50. Going, you clumsy greaser. When you finish, take the mules back to where we left the horses. What are you off to? I have some business to take care of. What do you mean? Not in daylight. It is not a girl. Do we wait? No. You go on with my horse. I will be the last to leave. Mm. I do not wish to worry about you two. Where do you figure you'll be going, Kate? Haven't decided. And mainly because I don't know what I'll do when I get there. When that loco dad of mine took off the gold field. All we had left on the ranch were those chickens. I got some folks back east. They tell me. I might. Uh... <laughs> Whose idea was it to close, Katie? What do you mean, no more eggs? Where did you hide those chickens? I did not hide them. They're gone. Some miserable bushwhacker ran off with them. But they didn't run very far. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... They were gone. I don't understand. I can't explain. Explain later. These men are hungry. Okay, boys, let's go. Maybe we should organize a party to hunt down the varmint. They've already organized many parties, mister. But those that have returned never found any trace of him. A lot of people have seen him already, and that's the problem. They've seen him in a dozen places at the same time. Seems to me that this Murrieta is getting right fat on chicken liver. Sure ain't no shortage of that around here. They say that every Mex 
and California's in cahoots with him. Is that so, Mex? Are you one of his spies? No comprendo. You comprende this? Si. Si, senor. Okay, now you tell that big greasy god of yours that you met Buck Winters. Tell him I think he's got a yellow gizzard. Tell him I'm in Salinas and I have 500 in gold here. And see if he's got the guts to come out of those hills and meet me face to face. I'll blow his rotten brains out. You got that, Mex? Por favor, senor. Place the gold on the bar to buy drinks to console those who may mourn you. Wager instead the medallion I traded for your mule and I accept the bet. It is of small risk because I am Morietta. We are face to face, senor. Whatever brains I may possess seem in little danger of being blown from my skull. You have lost the bet. <laughs> Any coffee, Katie? Well, I... There's some in the pot, but I have dumped the fire. It won't be very warm. Anyway, it'll suit me. <coughs> you get him? Nope. Just the horse. Lots of blood on the saddle, though. He must have been hit bad. Not a sign of him, though. He must have switched horses somewhere. Well, chalk up another murder for Mr. Murrieta. But it wasn't murder, was it? I understand the other man drew first, tried to shoot him in the back. He had it in for him. He'd have killed him anyway. Is he a bad man, Captain? Is he really bad? He's bad. But you knew him when he wasn't. The first man he killed. Had it happened to you, your wife, what would you have done? We have laws. For Mexicans, Captain? What are his crimes? That he fights for his life, for his people? He's exploiting his people. Sure, there's intolerance. There's been a war, lots of hard feelings on both sides. But that's no reason for committing crimes under the mask of patriotism. Morietta is a ruthless killer. And he's harming his own people as much as his victims. And I'm going to get him, Katie. And I think I know where to find him. 
Look for a man where his heart is. Thanks for the coffee, Katie. Good night. Good night. Don't you move. I'll right back. Yeah. I'll right back. Hey, Katie. Hook me a little leg, will you, Katie? I'll come on a little leg. I won't ask you for any more. Come back in the morning and I'll fix you a whole platter of them. Ah, come on, Katie. You can oh. cook it for me. Now be a good boy and get some sleep. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Okay. Good night. Look, Pete, I'm tired. Hmm. Yeah, I know, kid. It's okay. I know. Nothing even waiting. It's all right, kid. We're all human. <laughs> Keep your secret, Katie. How about a little kid? Uh. All right. Hmm? What are you doing? They can see you. Want to bring the whole camp in on you? I must go. You can't. We'll have to find another place for you. You've been hiding me. Taking care of me. Why? I don't know. It's not important. But you can't leave. You can't ride. Twice you've saved my life. Why? You were hurt, and I... But then, when I was to be hanged, you brought me a gun. The men you killed then deserved killing. I... Didn't know what you were, what you could become. Then why did you protect me? I don't know.
Don't move. Drop your gun. My compliments, Captain Lawton. Never once did I suspect I was being followed. You weren't. I've been waiting here for days for you to come. You knew I would come? It's well known Moriad often visits the grave of Rosita. But never with another. No one knew of this place. Three men did. The first three men you killed. One of them had papers. Then there will be two graves now, huh? If you don't talk too much and I don't think too much, you may stay alive long enough to stand trial. All right, let's go. It has been a long time since I've spoken with her. Will the captain permit? Go ahead. once, unfortunately. I could have killed you once also. Your mistake. You owe me 20 minutes. What would those 20 minutes cost California? 20 new murders for every minute? Sorry, Maria. They'll have to owe them to you. All right. On your horse. Wait. Wait. If I were gringo, and those I killed were Mexicans, I would get my 20 minutes. No. This is the law you would establish. The law is for all. Perhaps I've been given this wound that I might see this. If I promise never again to raid or kill. No deals, Morietta. If I swear to leave California and never return. If I swear this on the grave of Rosita, this I do swear. On my love of the woman in this ground and by all else holy. Let me go, Captain, and Marietta shall never ride again. It is a just debt. You owe me this. All right. 20 minutes. Do not fear. I will keep my promise.
old woman. Will he live? Who knows? Some have lived with worse. Others have died of, of less. The infection is through his body. It will be many days before God's will is known. Gibbering cockroach. You think that Joaquin Murieta can die from the bullet of a gringo? He's dying of the fever. Bah, fever. He is dying of hate. This knife is also burning with fever. And the gringo's blood will free it. Why do we have to keep on hiding in his camp like a bunch of women now, while the blades of our knives are rusting? And our saddles are gathering moss and dust. Are we such weaklings that one bullet sends us scurrying into our holes like rabbits or golfers? You're not the leader, Garcia. When Murieta can speak, he'll give the orders. You only hear with your ears. Only what is said by the lips. Now listen. All of you, listen. Does not this wound speak for itself? Is it not his blood calling you for vengeance, amigos? Our spies from all of their camps tell us that the gringo already knows of this wound. Now they speak of it joyously. Some say that Joaquin has fled to Mexico. Others think he is dead. But it soon may be true. But Joaquin will not die. If they think Murieta is not here to lead us, there will be no one in their camps now to bother us. Their shipments of gold are not guarded. They are not aware things can go wrong now. What a better moment do we have to attack? If they believe Murieta is dead, then the Murieta they see shall be a phantom. Their fear shall be even greater. Joaquin is very ill. He's not able to ride now. You are not too ill to ride, Gonzalez. And you, Reyes. And you, Valenzuela. And I myself am able to ride, amigos. We are all going to wear our red sashes. We'll all be Murietas. Let Joaquin waken from his sickness so that he may know how well he has taught us. He'll see gold and horses. And let them count the tombs that his wound is going to cost the ignorant gringos. Tomorrow I gather my men. Not tomorrow, tonight. I will go north and Gonzalez south. And the camps will be for Reyes and for Valenzuela. <laughs> Obliged, Katie. What can I bring you back from Frisco? I'm mighty low on stockings. Fine, I'll get you some pretty silk ones. Thank you. Warm it up, Captain. It's a long ride to Frisco. This is fine, Katie. This party isn't taking any gold to San Francisco. It isn't? Every crack shot in the county, plus a few that just wandered in. I know a manhunt when I see one. You're going after him, aren't you? Who? Murieta. 
All right, you're hauling gold, and you're going to Frisco. I just wanted to tell you what a fool I was believing he was right in doing what he did. You take care, Captain. Well, we better get started. As you say, it's a long way. is in one month than all winter. And when Joaquin awakens, he will be even richer than when he went to sleep. <laughs> well, yeah, what about the Chino camp? Ah, oh, the camp with the little Chinos. <laughs> no squeal is better than a Chino's when the knife tickles his throat like <laughs> <laughs> Did you let him die? Die? It is the fever that dies. Look. Don't you see? The fire leaves him. It is finished. It is finished. He lives! He lives! Walk, he lives! His body is broken. The fever, he will live! <laughs> Joaquim, huh? <laughs> Any other man with this kind of wound six weeks ago would have been food for the worms. <laughs> this is the man I say who will take California. No, amigos. No. No man will ever take California. That too was a fever. But it is gone now with the other. Six weeks already. It has been that long. Six weeks without any raids or violence. Perhaps now they will believe. <laughs> that Joaquin has been killed or has run away? <laughs> no. Listen, here's what we have done, Joaquin. Quiet, cockroach. I will tell him. You think, Joaquin, that we are like lazy children who permit the grapes to wither in the vineyard because the father is too sick to pick the clusters? <laughs> <laughs> Now look, Joaquin, here are the things that we Quiet, have Quiet, you! I will tell him! Tell me what? The gringos will never understand that in these six weeks, Murrieta has been fastened to his bed with fever. <laughs> Who then burned the camp at Murphy's? Eh, amigos? Si, we took the gold shipment from the wagons. And horses from the ranches at Los Angeles. And stopped on Calaveras, my posa. No Murrietas. There have been four Murrietas. Even a fat Murrieta like myself. <laughs> <laughs> tell me this is not true. When you see what we have, you will no longer doubt it. The gold fills half the caves. And the valley is full with horses. You raided, robbed and killed. In my name, you did these things. Without my permission. Without my knowledge. You dared to do this. You pigs. You vicious, stupid animals. But you are not contented? It would please me to kill all of you. I swore on the sacred grave of my wife, Rosita, before God that there would be no more killing. You swore it? 
In exchange for this oath, I was given my freedom. I was captured. And even now, I'd be hanging in Sacramento, except that a man believed I had honor. And now... And now what honor do I have? Before him. Before God. Get out. Get out, all of you. Take your women, your gold, your horses, and get out. Tomorrow I will ride to Salinas and give myself up to Captain Love. And if there is a single man left in this camp tomorrow, I will kill him. Get out! I said I would kill any man I found in camp this morning. Go ahead. Why do you not leave? You know I ride to Salinas. We began with you. We finish with you. Ride to Salinas. And we ride with you. I will give myself up in Salinas. You will hang with me too? The way is long. We will have time to think about it. You are fools.
cover! Get back! It's over, Captain. That's the last of them. Where at the dead? They'll never believe it. Put his body on one of the pack horses. Right. Thank <laughs> you. 